In the words of the great Terence McKenna, the mere smoking of a small amount of vegetable material could completely invert the structures of my personality and socialize me, as it were, into a reasonably functioning member of the community in which I found myself. In a conversation with his psychotherapist, McKenna revealed he had been consuming cannabis 10 to 14 times a day for over 25 years. However, he found that his therapist's lack of understanding about cannabis was impeding their sessions. So to simplify their discussions, he decided to quit. He said, and I'm happy to report that though I was at that time the heaviest and most continuous cannabis user that I have ever known or ever heard of, it was no big deal. I simply stopped smoking it and took up reading in the evenings. And it seemed to have no impact on my psychological organization at all, except that I must say, my dream life became considerably more interesting in the wake of that decision. After some time, McKenna returned to cannabis, incorporating it into his daily life. Yet he did not necessarily advocate for such constant use. He once stated, I'm an inveterate cannabis user, and I wish in a way that I could get a slightly better grip on my cannabis use, because I think the real way to do cannabis is like once a week, by yourself, in silent darkness, with the strongest stuff you can get, and then immense amounts of it. One of McKenna's theories about cannabis is that it thins the boundary between the conscious and unconscious mind. He believed that if you smoke cannabis, the energy usually channeled into dreams is instead manifest in the reveries of the cannabis intoxication. Furthermore, McKenna valued the unexpected ideas cannabis could spark. Without it, his creativity was linear, but with cannabis, he could jump from one thought to an entirely different one in an instant. He believed this experience to be generalizable, citing areas like Punjab and Bengal, where cannabis had been institutionalized for thousands of years. In conclusion, Terence McKenna's experiences with cannabis were transformative, influencing his perception of consciousness and creativity. He saw the substance as a catalyst for unexpected ideas and a bridge between the conscious and unconscious mind. Despite the challenges and complexities, McKenna's relationship with cannabis remained central to his life, shaping his thoughts and theories in remarkable ways.